what's happening over there. Good evening, guys. Yeah, it is a beautiful thing to see here. People from all across the Bruin community in Chicagoland came together, donated their time, their effort, and of course some beer to make this happen for the owner of Twisted Hippo after a massive fire last month. It's intense, yeah. I got there about 4 o'clock in the morning and most of the building was already gone. Mary Lee Rutherford is talking about this massive blaze that happened one month ago today, which wiped out her Albany Park brewery, Twisted Hippo. We've survived a lot. We can survive this too. Over the last few weeks, the brewing community has rallied around her, and that's exactly what's happening today. We got together on a small group basis and said, what can we do for them? Michelle Foyk and Kitty Pizza own Eris Brewery in Cider House, and this is the scene here right now. Over 40 breweries helped yeah. donate uh, to this cause today. Yeah, their time, their effort, and they're all here to be able to sample out the products for them. Dozens of breweries and other vendors donating to make this happen, fundraising for one of their own, all devastated to have watched so much hard work go up in flames. It really hurt because they were our neighbours. Yeah. Now, thankful they can help Mary Lee get back on her feet. I'm not used to being on the receiving end of that kind of hug. <laughs> I like to give the hugs. I like to give all of the hugs. And it's been really hard to process the amount of appreciation that we have. And it's going to take a long time. Now, the owners of both Eris and Twisted Hippo, all women there, as you can see, which is a little unusual in the brewing is industry, but I'm told girl power is on the rise. It's a little fun fact for you there for Women's History Month. Now, all of this runs until 8 tonight. If you were hoping to come down, the bad news is it is sold out. The good news is they have raised $20,000 here this evening for Twisted Hippo to get things back up and running. That is in addition to a GoFundMe that has already surpassed $176,000. We did ask Mary Lee if they have any idea of a time timeline and when they'll be getting things back up and open again and she said as soon as they possibly can. Well that's tonight in the city's northwest side, Brona Tumulty, WGN News. Great weather to enjoy that evening, Brona, thanks. Ahead in our next half hour, a new